Good day, welcome back to my neck of the woods where I share my experience and my knowledge hoping to lessen your learning curve along the way. All my outdoor activities uh, that, I, that I enjoy. So today I'm gonna talk about the Cast King Royal Legend. It's just this wonderful dump truck, beefy looking reel that you know some people uh, just brush off as a piece of junk. But it's not a piece of junk. So I'm going to tell you all about it. I'm going to give you some specs and I'm going to give you my opinions on it and how it's treated me over the last five years. All right. So before I get started, please subscribe to my page, like any of my videos and ring that bell. Make sure you ring that bell. That's going to alert you of any new videos I got coming out. So this is the Cast King Royal Legend. There's, there's two models here. Uh, they came out in 2014 and they're, as of right now, I think they're discontinued. There's one out that's called the Royal Legend GT. And well, uh, that one, I believe, sits in the same price range. Uh, the, these are $40 each. Uh, you can buy them for less. I think I paid $36 for this about four or five years ago. And there's nothing sexy about them. They're just a big, bulky dump truck of a reel. But I think they're good for entry level. Um, these are my first bait casters. And they treated me well. Um, a lot of people feel that they're finicky. I didn't. I didn't get that issue at all. They they worked great. In fact, they. I think they. They lessen your learning curve. I think they're they're. So simple that you don't get the backlashes, and you just you just kind of follow the instructions of any bait caster and then you go from there i mean you got to work out the bugs like anything but they're really really easy to use uh, not to say that um, all the other ones aren't easy to use but this, these don't they're not amazing in any way so this is the royal legend this one is called the white max um, they're both identical um, the only thing that's different in this one is the gear ratio is five three to one so I would use that for like crankbaits or even uh, the big swim baits or whatnot. But the drag on them is amazingly 17.5. They worked well. They can handle big fish. Uh, the White Max I've actually used on the ocean. And I've caught striped bass with it upwards of 15 pounds. And it handled it without, without a problem. Granted, I had 30-pound um, fluorocarbon on it. So I'm going to read off some specs here. So we have... Uh, what do we have? The ball bearings in it are 11 plus 1. Um, you wouldn't know because the, the reeling is, is not amazingly smooth. I mean, I've used ones that have upwards of 4 or 5 ball bearings, and the, it, it was just better. Um, Cast King claims that they cut out the middleman, and that makes it more affordable. I think the parts they use are just inexpensive, and that's why they can sell it for less. Um, that's just my take on it. Um, it, it is affordable, they do work, but they're not, I don't know, they just don't feel awesome in the hand like a, like a, um, a Corrado. I have a Shimano Corrado. That just, it just feels better. E even the, the Cast King Elite Series, which I have, they're way better, and they're upwards of $70 for the reel. Uh, but the, 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 they're just cheaply made, but th they're beefy, and they can take abuse, and they're bulky, and I mean, they say they're low profile, but I don't know. It just seems like a big bulky dump truck of a reel to me. But anyway, I've had them. <coughs> All right, so the braking system inside, it's dual. It has the seven disc brakes and the centrifugal brakes. The spool, the spool holds a good amount of line. I mean, on the other one, I had 30 pound fluorocarbon, uh, carbon, for, for 30 pound fluorocarbon on that. and. I mean, I had enough line to go saltwater fishing for stripers. The reel is good. Uh, inside, the gears are brass. Um, it, it's a good reel. I took care of them. You know, I, I, I clean them um, a few times a year. I don't think I can get that on there. Right. There we go. Right on. Um, magnetic brake system on the outside. Okay. It clicks. Um, the tension knob right here, it doesn't click, but, but it, it's sticky. It's sticky enough so that it stays. Uh, the star drag 
moves well. There's no issues with that. Like I said, it's 17.5 pounds for the Star Drag. This retails for $40, and it's a good reel. I think it, for anyone getting into bait casting, I would say buy this reel. For anyone who's looking for an affordable quality reel, maybe not so much. Um, the, the, I, I don't have an issue, but the, I don't know if you can hear that, even the, even the drag's a little, little sticky. You know, it, I mean, look, it just kind of stops. That. I mean, I think I have the brakes off all the way. Everything's off. I can even take the drag down all the way. Oh, that's up. Take the drag down all the way. And I mean, nothing really just spins, you know. If you can take a, a, a better quality wheel, that, that wheel will just, just spin right around. But anyway, the White Max, the Royal Legend, I don't really have a lot to say about them, but. Like I said, if you're getting into entry level and you want to learn how to use a bait caster, I think it's great. Um, for just for the money, I mean, I, I think I paid thirty-six dollars for this one and roughly forty for this one. Uh, they came out in two thousand fourteen. The five three to one came out in two thousand sixteen. Not a problem, no problems really, except that the when you when you go and you pick up another bait caster, you realize what low quality these are when you have them and you're not getting backlashes and you're having a great time on the water and you know everything seems great but then when you grab a friends or you know and you pick up a quality bait caster you realize that, like oh this is a big dump truck you know, it, it's just big and bulky and it doesn't feel good in the hand in, in comparison to other reels that are out there you know like i said this the white max is exactly the same sticky. I've had these for some time. Exactly the same inside. Centrifugal brakes, seven disc, and the spool. Spool's good. Same brass gears inside. But, and these are discontinued right now. So the newer model right now I think is called the Casking Royal Legend GT. Now there's the Royal Legend um, Elites that are out. Uh, and I have two of them, and I really like them. You know, but next to other reels, the quality is uh, is dropped. I, I think it's just in how it's made and how it feels. Anyway, that's all I got for you. Check them out. See what you like. I'll talk to you guys later. Be well.